Welcome seventh, eighth grade art to our digital art section of our art semester. Today we are going to be working under digital art, inspirational funny quotes, and we will be focusing on kerning as well as font use when it comes to assigning these things to our digital designs. Right now, I'm opening up the screen to my design where I used a font here at the size of 65. The font name is Righteous. You'll find all of that at the top of our tool box here on our long bar. You will also see that I've created a gradient background as well as a separate drawing to include into my quote by Frida Kahlo. I will show you how to do this step by step as we go down the road of including font and kerning on our digital designs to further show commercial art and the importance of clarity. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go up over to a new tab and open up my Google Drawings here. And if it's not included in your assignments, you may just simply type it in, click on it, and you will automatically have a blank canvas to work with. Over on the left-hand side on Untitled Drawing, you want to click on that and label it Kerning and font quote. Now the first thing I suggest you do is go ahead and apply a sort of color or a gradient to your background. So the way you want to do that is if you have a touchpad on your laptop, you're going to double right click on that mouse pad. If you're using a mouse, you're going to do a right click, click on background, and for gradient, you can go up over on the gradient section, and we have our options here on our square tab. Now, if there's a gradient on here that you do not see or want to apply, you may click on custom, and you will have a box that pops up labeled custom gradient. Here's where you can have plenty of fun trying to figure out what kind of colors you want to use. Gradient stops will be the portion where you get to pick your color. Say here, I want to pick a purple. And for my other portion of my gray scale, so the bottom where my purple converts into this gray, I'm going to click on that. And I want it to turn into this pretty pink here. So now we have two gradients. You may also play with the way the gradient shows on your background. Up on the right under custom gradient, the type and angle, you may click on either linear, showing your change from top to bottom, or you may click on a radial, showing you a round way to kind of gradient out. You may also work with the center portion. You can click it over to the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and you get to decide what you want to do with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, I'm going to, oh, that looks nice. I'm going to keep it there. You want to click on OK. And then your entire background here is filled in with that gradient background. And again, you can get as creative as you would like with that type of playing around with colors. Now, in order to get the text format onto your background, so you may add your quote. You're going to click up on the text box here uh, towards the left hand area it's in between your insert image and your shapes you'll click on that you'll have a little plus sign show up on your screen once you click you can drag out your text box and this is what you have to work with now your text box will automatically give you the aerial font so the style of lettering and will give you an automatic font size, so the size that your letters are going to be. From there, you may go ahead and write your quote into your text box. This can be anything funny, anything serious, from a novel, from a movie, from a famous person, 
uh, pick something that really speaks to you. I will go ahead and repeat the quote that I used for the last one. I paint flowers so they don't die. And that was by Frida Kahlo. Now, as you look at this font, it is very basic. It is what we use traditionally to type papers. However, if we are going into the commercial realm, we want to make sure to make this look presentable and appealing. To me right now, the size and the style of the letters is fairly boring, so it does not catch my attention right away. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to do the size of this font in different than what the name of the person is on here. And I'm gonna go and use 65 for the font. And you can click in there and physically type that in. Now Frida got put in there. I'm gonna do Frida as a 45 instead of a 65, make it slightly smaller. Now my letters are larger. However, they are still pretty plain. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the font style where it says Arial. You can click down on the arrow and you have a whole list of fonts that you can use. You may even click on more fonts up at the top of the tab and you have quite a bit that you can go through. And I would say go with the one that you feel stands out the most, makes your quote look nice. That doesn't necessarily mean pick the fanciest looking one. Maybe something like this will work out for my font. Um, my name, I think that'll work out. For this here, I wanna make it stand out even more and make it bold. So with that being said, you can go up to the tools on the tab bar here. Uh, the B is for bold, so you can make your letters uh, larger. Um, you can italicize them. You can underline them. And you may also change the colors by clicking on the A with the underline. You make them any color you'd like. So they don't have to be white. Now, for the sake of making these letters a little fancier, I'm going to go in and use this lettering here and this is the start of your kerning font exercise for your quote when you are on google drawing don't worry about clicking on save as google drawing is connected to your google docs and it'll automatically save into your documentation on the next video i will show you how to create a separate drawing so you can apply that to your quote itself to make any more interesting poster to look at. I will also show you how to include pictures and take things out of the way that you don't want to be shown in the quote itself. Thank you so much for listening and good luck on creating your quote.